Okay, so this is going to be our, our last little look at methods and I'm just going to look at something a little bit more complex. So, um, I'm a teacher, so I'm going to come up with a little method that would allow me to uh, reduce the effort of my marking. So the idea I've got is that you'd have a little applet, you could enter the student score on a test and then enter the maximum score and it would tell you what grade they got. So let's say for example they got 75 out of 100, they hit submit and it says your grade is a C. Now that would make my job a lot easier but it's actually got a few steps in it and we're going to look at how we can make this tidy little teacher tool. So let's look at what we would need to do. We need to get the input, then calculate the percent. We would then need to um, decide what percent equals what grade. and then we would need to return the grade. Now what data type is the grade? Uh, if it was going to be like A, B, C, then I would say character. If you want to allow for A plus, A minus, I would actually say that it is going to be a string. So let's plan out our method and then we will code it. So we'll start any method with public. Now we said that this one was going to return a string so we can allow for plus and minuses. String, remember, always has a capital S. And we might call this one calculate grade. And it will take int, two ints, int result and int max. Sorry for cramming it up there. And then what we need to do is calculate the percent. We might make that a double because when we go dividing things, we usually end up with decimal values. So double percent is equal to result divided by max, then times 100. And then we're going to have probably a series of if statements. So we might have something like if percent is greater than 90 um, and we've got to have a string here too don't we we'll go string grade uh, so grade equals a plus else if percent greater than 80, duh, 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 and so on. Okay, that's a little bit scrappy. Let's go onto the computer and see what we can do. So we're in uh, Eclipse now, and what I've got is just a really basic applet, but there's actually no functionality to it. So this is the applet that I showed you in the, uh, in the little video clip. Um, but if we submit some information here, nothing's going to happen because we haven't actually got that functionality in there. So if we look, I've got the components for my graphical user interface. I have a string ready to accept the grade and I have a draw string that is going to output the grade but nowhere am I actually calculating the grade. Just get rid of that sum method from uh, the last exercise. So what we're going to do is grade equals and I can't remember what we called it. I think it was something like calculate grade. And we might pass it A and, uh, yeah, no, A and B. Okay. A and B don't exist, so we're going to declare them up the top there. And we're going to do what we did last time, which was get the input from the two text fields. So A equals integer dot parse int. And the field that we're getting it out of is called user result up the top there. So user result dot get text. And we'll get B as well. So I'm just going to do a bit of copy and paste. 
And the text field with the maximum score is called user max. And then we're going to repaint the screen. Okay, so just let's collapse a few things to make it more readable. All Action Performed is doing is getting those two results. And what we want to do is we want to write that method public, uh, public, where are we? I'm spelling things terribly here. Public string calculate grade. And we said it took two integers. So it took the int result and int max is what we called them. And again, it's whinging because we haven't given it a return yet, and that's fine. So we'll declare our grade. Um, I might not call it grade because I've got it called grade up there. Might call it student grade. Is currently nothing. So the first thing that we needed to do was to calculate the percent, and that results in a double. So double percent equals the result divided by the max and times that by 100. Then we want to go through a series of statements that will actually set the grade and at the very end what we will have is return student grade just to get rid of that error. So, Okay so what we might have here is something like if percent is greater than 95 now obviously these, I'm just making stuff up, so you know, I might be a hard marker, I might be an easy marker, uh, but you would adapt this obviously depending on who you are and what you're doing. I'm just giving an example. So if the percent is over 90, that might just be a stock standard A. Now if you were wondering why I haven't used a switch for this, it's because with a switch you test for exact values where I'm testing for 95 and above or 90 and above, where it is, if I was using a switch I would have to have a case for 95. If I had 96 it would hit the default case uh, because it's greater than 95, it's not equal to 95. So that's the reason that I've chosen to do a switch here. Okay, so there we go. It's a whole big series of if statements and if I had put that in paint, then paint would actually be massive and less readable. So this has created a nice little section of code that can be reused and it makes the readability of the program easier. It also makes that piece of code reusable and, uh, and nice and compact. Now, I've got here A plus a, A minus, B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, C minus, and then here if you submit any work uh, but it doesn't actually achieve any kind of pass, it's a T, and if you don't submit anything at all, not even your name on the piece of paper, you get a Z. Uh, so that would re then return the student grade. So now what I can do is I can compact that down, so I've collapsed it, and now I should be able to run that program and see the different grades. Okay, so if a student got 2 out of 100, they should get a Z. Now, 2 out of 100 is uh, actually, in my calculations, is actually bigger than 1%. So there's something going wrong here. And I realized I made a bit of a rookie mistake uh, and an experienced person mistake, is that calculate grade, to calculate this, we must actually use... Um, doubles to start with because otherwise 
our calculation will end up in zero all the time. Um, so what we're going to do is we've changed those to double. We need to change these ones to doubles as well. And we're going to scroll down. And we can't parse int because we need them to be double. So we type in double dot parse double. And do that for the next one. We'll just copy and paste that. And now hopefully we should actually be getting valid results. So let's collapse that back down and let's run it. Okay, so if we get 2 out of 100, I'd be hoping we got a T. Woohoo! Okay, so let's try something else. Let's say they got 98 and A plus. Uh, 77 is a B. And 35, I think that should be a T. Uh, what was our passing grade? I think it was like 50 or something. No, 51. Man, I'm a hard teacher. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, so we can see those results coming back. And this is just a really good example of where we've got this long piece of code that's really quite simple, but it's ugly. So by making it a method, it's make, made it nice and tidy. We can copy and paste it into other things, uh, but it makes our code look a lot more readable and pleasant to look at. So that was my example of a more complex method. Obviously you can make all sorts of methods with different return types and different types of parameters. And some of your methods might be one or two lines long. Some of them might be a hundred. Obviously the different method for a different task. So good luck with writing your own methods.